there's nothing more annoying than going to your friend's house, asking for the Wi-Fi, and them giving you this 25 character password that makes absolutely no sense. If you don't have the decency to change your Wi-Fi password to something catchy and easy to spell out, then you need to get this hack for your house. Or no more crouching down behind the sofa to dig out the Wi-Fi router and look for the password hidden underneath it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be giving you guys a quick tutorial for something that everyone should have. Your friends will definitely thank you and it will just make life a lot easier. So as you guys know, I love using Canva, I love using QR codes, and in this tutorial, we're gonna turn your ugly, stupid Wi-Fi password into an easy to use QR code that anyone can just take their phone and scan to connect to the Wi-Fi anytime. This is perfect for people who have friends over, or if you have like an Airbnb or a vacation rental and you don't wanna have to, you know, have people spelling out this long password every time they wanna connect to the Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna walk you guys through all the steps to making your own really nice QR code Wi-Fi password and you can put it in a frame or hang it on the wall or have it in your house in a nice presentable way. So first let's get into Canva. This is the free website that we're gonna be using to design your display. You can use the link in the description to get straight to the section for designing your flyer. Click other and Canva will give you a bunch of different options for different themes that you might like. I'm gonna pick something simple. I like this one because it has the grid paper background and the little doodling artwork. Before you start designing, take note of the dimensions that you're gonna be needing, especially if you already have a photo frame. Mine is 10 by 15 centimeters, so I'll be entering those dimensions. And now I'll just delete this big ugly graphic and I'll keep the little doodly stars. And down here, I'm going to type the actual login and password because this QR code only works for mobile devices with a camera. So if you're using a laptop or a tablet that doesn't have a camera, you'll still need to enter the password manually. So it's good to have your password accessible too. Now we're going to make the QR code and we're gonna use a free website, which is a barcode generator. And the link to this is in the description below the Canva link. So first you'll need to know which of these two categories your Wi-Fi is. I actually don't even know the difference between the two, but to find out which one yours is, just go to your Wi-Fi network preferences on your computer, then click advanced, and then next to your Wi-Fi name, you might see this WPA status. So that just confirms that you should select that option as opposed to whatever WEP is. Then you simply enter the ID for your Wi-Fi and your password. And yes, my home Wi-Fi ID is called Banana House. And so then the code will generate for you and you can download this image to your computer. Then go back to your Canva design and upload the photo of the QR code and add it to your flyer. And that is pretty much it. Just make sure that you like the way everything looks and then what we will do before we save it is to actually test out the QR code and make sure that it works. In order to do this, you're gonna have to tell your phone to forget the Wi-Fi password that you already have because chances are your phone automatically connects to the Wi-Fi. So to do this, you have to go to your Wi-Fi settings, click the little information button, then click forget this network, and now you are officially disconnected. Then to reconnect, simply open your camera and if you've done it right, it will literally just pop up with this instant click to reconnect to the Wi-Fi again. And if everything works, then you are clear to download your design and I suggest downloading it as a PDF for print. and then you can print it out and display it somewhere in your house where your guests will see it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that quick tutorial and that you use it and make your Wi-Fi experience a lot more seamless for all the guests that come over and wanna to connect to your Wi-Fi. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more tutorials like this or travel videos or videos on entrepreneurship and living your best life. In any case, I will see you in the next one, bye.